So in the last video, we were able to actually register a new user with their email, but we still need to hold more data for that user because right now all it is is it's just going to register their email and that's it. But we need a lot more than that, as you know. We're going to need to store profile pictures, um, usernames, uh, the actual names of the people, description, website, posts, followers, and following. And to store that information, we're going to use the, dat the Firebase database. And when we're registering a new user, we're always going to have to insert some default values. Otherwise, when we register a new user and they navigate to their profile, the app will crash because posts will be null, followers will be null, and so on. All that information will be null. So we're going to need to insert some default values for when they first register. And that's what we're going to get started with here. So here's the Firebase database. It's a JSON data structure. And the way it's organized is in nodes. So if I want to insert a new node, I would cl click this Add Child button here. And this first node is going to be the user account settings. So I'm going to user uh, account settings, all lowercase and underscores. So then we wouldn't hit add. We're going to hit this plus sign here because we're designing kind of a hierarchy. And I've already copied the user ID, so I'm just going to paste it in there. And then hit plus again. And I'm going to type description. And I'm just going to type I live in Vancouver, BC. I'm just copying exactly what I see right here. And now we're going to hit add. I like to add the properties one at a time in case I make a mistake. I'm not going to lose all the data that I just typed out. And if you're wondering where I got this user ID right here, just go to authentication, go to mitchtavian.live.com, hit copy UID, go back to the database, and that's all. That's, the, that's where I got that from. Uh, so let's insert some other properties. We're going to also need a display name, and that's just going to be my actual name, Mitchell Tavian. And then we're going to do uh, followers. And to start, we just do zero. Then we're going to do following and zero. And posts, zero. Then profile photo. And oh, I'm going to actually need a file path for this. So I will just copy the one that I have from my other database here. But actually, you know what? I'll just say none because we're going to need to actually choose one. The universal image loader won't crash if you pass it null. It's just going to uh, load that default image. So we know we're fine there. And then the username is going to be, this is Instagram. When you first register with Instagram, they take your name and then they they um, concatenate it to, be, to put a decimal in between. So that's the same way we're going to do it. That's going to be this username displayed up here. And we can hit add. And then we can do website, and my website is coningwithmitch.com, so I'm just going to copy that and put that in there and hit add. And that's going to be kind of all the basic stuff for the profile. And if we go into uh, edit profile, this is where we're going to store some other information because remember we can scroll down and we're going to have some private information down here. So we're going to create a separate node for that. So I'm going to click on the plus, actually I need to copy this user ID first of all. I'm going to click on the plus up at the top here, and this is going to be uh, the users section. So then just hit plus again. Once again, paste the user ID, and the first thing in here is going to be email. So mitchkabian at live.com. And then we're going to store phone number. So keep in mind, I'm using all lowercase here. Don't use capitals in this, in this database. It's just going to create headaches. Firebase is really picky with like, uh, what type of characters you use or if they're capitals or not capitals. So just definitely use all lowercase. And I'm going to put the user ID in there too. And then the username for... So this username has to match this username. So just keep that in mind. And that's it. So these are going to be the two kind of main nodes in our database. Whenever we create a new user or whenever we sign, it, sign up a new email, we also want to insert default values just like you've seen here although the description probably wouldn't be i live in vancouver bc it would probably just be you know i, I don't know post their name or something but um just there has to be something there so just to kind of give you an example if you wanted to insert another user so i'm going to use mitch at as an example i'd copy his user id i'd click on right here add the next user id plus and then i would copy uh so uh, I just copy all the same things basically that you see right here. Uh, and then you do the same thing for user. So I paste that in and I copy the same, the same properties. 
I'm not going to copy them all out, but just know that's what you would need to do. And that's what we're going to be trying to do when we register new users. Whenever we register a new user, we also want to insert into the user account settings node all the information right here. And we want to insert into the users node all the information right here. So that's just going to be, I just want to do a quick in introduction on the data structure that we're going to be using for the app. Uh, in the next one, we're going to actually start working on inserting this data when we register new users. So I'll see you guys in the next video.